Hello and welcome back to Police Simulator Patrol Officers. Um, we're going to do another video in this game today. Uh, we're going to be driving the UTV. You see here. They call it a UTV. It's it's an Escalade. Uh, let's be honest here. It's, it's an Escalade. Their version of the Escalade, which they did a pretty good job with. It's pretty close to the actual thing. Uh, let's show you the lighting package that we have on here. Uh, it's the same same mods as the last one. They react kind of the same way. The lighting bar and uh, some of the other car lights are just a little different. So we are going to get out on patrol and see what we can find. I'm going to stop this vehicle. I observed it at the traffic light back there. It's got no headlights on. So we're going to stop this and uh, see what's going on with them with that. Their headlight situation. Let's see what we got on the plate first. Oh boy. Okay, so if it's the RO, uh, Divot Guerrero. RO is a uh, registered owner. If it's Divot, we, uh, we're going to be taking him into custody. He's got an open warrant. Um, his driver's license is valid, registration is valid, insurance is expired. So we'll go out and talk to him, see what's going on with him. And it does look like him based off of his ID photo. So we'll let's go ahead and grab that ID. We will uh, we'll just tell him, you know, the reason for the stop is uh, you're driving without headlights. Ooh, I don't actually, is that in here? Hmm. I don't know if there is a headlight option. Let's take a look at them. They're not uh tinted windows. Okay. He doesn't have any lights on. Maybe they're just tinted? I don't know. What do we have for options here? Driving, ignoring red light, not using a turn signal, speeding, uh car. Underglow lights, broken lights. Hmm. We'll go with the I tinted windows, I guess, because it knows that it car are tinted. It has which tinted is windows. Illegal in Franklin. Are you serious? Oh, we got some alcohol on him. Uh, see what's going on with that. We'll ask for his ID. ID and car insurance, please. Verify that it is who we have a warrant for. Here you go. And then from there, we will ask him to step out of the vehicle, do a field sobriety test on him, and then uh, take him into custody based off of his warrant. Insurance is expired, so we'll probably give him a warning on that because he's going to be going to jail. So uh, and that is him. So we will uh, go ahead and give him back his information. We'll ask him to step out of the vehicle. And hopefully he doesn't run on foot from us. Can't run in the cars yet. Uh, they haven't implemented that. I do believe it is coming at some point. Um, but we're not there yet. Oh, my hat. Alright. I do want to turn on the flashlight. Do a DUI test on this individual. We're going right. to test for alcohol. Check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. So we smelt the alcohol. He has been drinking, but he's not he's not at that limit yet. 0.02. The limit in Brighton is 0.08. So he'll be good there. However, he is going to be going to jail on his warrants. You're being arrested for having an open warrant. And we'll have to get a tow truck for the vehicle as well. Get that removed. We'll go ahead and search him. Uh, it's a search incident to arrest, arrest, which is legal. Anything you find during a search, he can't be charged with. And it looks like we have cucumbers and marijuana. Again, you can't have marijuana, I believe, up to an ounce. So he's okay there. Matchbox and some and a yo-yo. Go ahead and put him in our car. Get him comfy. Get into the car, please. And, uh, jeez, buddy, turn that thing off. Holy smokes. 
And uh, it does put them in the back, which is kind of interesting. You can fit four people in the back of this car if you needed to transport four suspects at one time. Let's give it a search. Let's go ahead and search the vehicle, do an inventory on the vehicle before the tow truck takes it away, see what we're working with there. We got a switchblade. So that could have been another charge if that were on his body. I don't think the game recognizes vehicles to person yet, so I don't think we can actually charge him with the switchblade, even though they are illegal in Brighton. No items found. All right, we'll call a tow truck for this vehicle. We'll stand by for the tow, and then we'll we'll get him over to the precinct. Oh, I guess not. They're not coming for it. It's off the road. They'll come for it later on once they have a tow truck available. And we are actually going to go right up the street here. A lot of loud cars out today. This guy is in front of a smoking tailpipe and a broken blinker. He's NJ walking. This city's full of violations today. We're gonna have a good shift, I think. Oh, can't go that way. Uh huh. Gotta find somewhere to pull, pull around. He also has a smoking tailpipe. We'll just pull into this parking lot here and flip around. That's just the border for the game, telling me that's as far as the map goes, and I can't go any further. Yep. No. We're not. We have an arrestee in the back of the car. Go ahead and turn those call outs off so that dispatch doesn't bother us anymore get our arrestee to the precinct can't turn right here so we'll have to go up and take a right further up it's a one-way road but the police department is right right back there where we were so we'll take a right here it looks like we can oh maybe we can't uh, nope, that's a one way also. Jeez. All I want to do is just get this guy into uh, the precinct here. Is there another one closer? No. Go all the way down. Take a right. Take another right. Come back up. And this one does have an interior view also. Again, just that frame rate drop that you get when you uh, go inside. It's, 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 I mean, it's kind of bad. There's there's quite a bit of frame rate issue there. There we go. Let's take it right here. Check before we go. That guy just ran a red light. All kinds of violations today. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled. We could get some traffic stops in this uh, this shift. Might get a lot of the traffic stop stuff. Yeah, come on, buddy. I don't got places to be or anything. Please help yourself to the sidewalk. There should be a police station right around this bend, and there isn't. Where the hell am I? Friggin' dum dum. Ugh. I don't need to take a right, I need to take a left. I'm all messed up. I don't know where I am. Well, let's try it again. All right, we have made it to the precinct, finally. 
Let's get this gentleman inside. We're cool, so we're going to park right in front of the front door. Block anyone else's access of being able to enter the police department. Time to go to the police precinct cell. Off to your uh, oh, no. box there, champ. Okay, perfect. We're done with that. We didn't lose any points means we didn't screw anything up. Let's get back out there. Officer help requested for an emergency. Please respond. I'm on my way. All right, we are going to respond to this accident up in Wilcox. It's a major accident, so we'll go code 3 to it. Make sure we clear our intersections though. Get up there, see what's going on with that. How many vehicles, how many people injured. Take reports of the accident, take some pictures, some evidence. And um, as long as nobody's got warrants or is drunk or anything like that, everyone will be able to leave with their accident report and the insurance companies will figure out who's at fault. See if we can get there without getting killed. Ooh. Some frame rate drop here. It's not, this game's not terribly optimized. However, it could be optimized a little better. I mean, I'm playing on the recommended settings. Actually, even just a little lower than the recommended settings. To try to grab some frames back. And there's still some frame drop, so... Oh, easy, pal. Dumbass. Move. Get out of the way, please. Beep, beep. Get out of the way. No! You mother. All right. Well, we'll get to use the garage update at least. Excuse me. I got places to be. All right. Here we go. We're arriving on scene now. Go ahead and shut those sirens off. We're going to be shutting this whole road down actually. So we'll shut down this lane. We'll use one of our barricades to shut down the next lane. Cars will have to U-turn. Nobody's coming through here. All right, let's go see what's going on. First, we'll look for injured people. I don't see any. Three cars, three people out of the vehicle. Let's figure out what's Can going you on. Tell me what you saw. I'm sure this person was way too fast. All right, too fast. Let's get your ID there, pal. Give me your ID and car insurance, please. <laughs> sure. Here you go, officer. Adric Boyd. His ID is expired. Okay. No insurance he's showing us. And he's a bit anxious, which I guess I'm not surprised by. Kindly Get a DUI test on him. Sample to see if you're drunk. I'll just need to take and a, a drug test. To determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. He is not. He is driving sober, so he doesn't get pulled over. Alright. Let's go ahead and check his info. 
He's got an expired ID. We knew that. His registration and insurance is invalid on that vehicle there. We'll just make sure that that's his car. And it is. Okay. We're going to issue him those. We're going to do warnings for the ID. The insurance we'll do a ticket for and the registration we'll do a ticket for. Actually, how far expired are we on the registration? June? Yeah, so we'll do ticket for the insurance. Like to see your driver's oh, license Jesus. Car insurance, please. We'll do ticket for the insurance because we just don't know because he doesn't have the card with him and he may not even have insurance. And we'll do warnings for his ID. Um, so we'll do... We'll give him some a bit of bipolar here. We'll do I'm verbal warning for that. Verbal warning this time. Oh, thank you. Do it. Watch how bipolar they get. I'm charging you for not having valid insurance. Why does it cost so much? <laughs> and then we will give him a warning I'm for that. I'm not gonna fine you and just let you go with a verbal warning. Oh, thank you. So bipolar, but he ended happy, so that's good. All right, we'll hold him here. Continue our investigation. What do Let you see? You saw. That driver should be arrested for causing an accident. Wow. They didn't use a turn signal when they should have. It's a little uh, extra, my friend. ID and, if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Jonas Erickson, why don't you relax a little bit, pal? All right, so he's got a gun permit. His ID is valid. And his insurance is is valid. Let's go ahead and run his ID through the police computer. Make sure that we're all set there. We are. Green across the board. Okay. Let's get the Let's DUI test. Check if you're under the influence of alcohol. Again, traditionally, I wouldn't do a DUI test. I'm just collecting a sample to see if you've used any drugs um, while driving. In real life, you wouldn't just get DUI tested because you were involved in an accident it would have to come from some sort of um information that the officer gathered from talking to you can you tell me what you saw i was in a real hurry and i drove too fast i'm sorry but in this game they want you to to do one whenever you interact with people on an accident let me see your id and if available this vehicle's insurance please sure officer here you go i think one of the other youtubers i was watching i think he said this uh comes from like england and stuff i think you get dui tested over there when you get into an accident i'm not sure though leah perkins your id is valid and your insurance is also valid for a couple days and check the rest of her uh yep she's good her registration's invalid we'll just give her a warning on the registration i'm not gonna give you a ticket i'm just gonna leave you with a verbal warning this time what a relief thanks officer Hey, no problem. You drinking tonight? Kindly cooperate as I collect a sample to see if you're drunk. Nope, we're not drinking. We got some squinty eyes, though. We may be to take a sample to under the influence of under drugs. Of any illicit substances. Yep, amphetamine. You're going to jail. Sorry to tell you. Sorry about your bad luck. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of narcotics. Please move to the sidewalk. Please don't do that. And we'll do a search incident to arrest. I will proceed with the search. Yeah, hey, a new controller. Some massive stick drift while I play this game. A bus ticket and a pocketbook. All right, you can go to the sidewalk. We're going to get some pictures here. Just want to take some pictures. I'll pay you for them. Are you good? Anyone watch the Jeffrey Dahmer series? That came out a while ago. It wasn't bad. It was alright. You're into that kind of thing. People eating people. Get some photos. And as much as I don't want to, the pickup truck... Mm, this car is probably the only one that we can let drive away, even though they have a smashed out windshield. 
Although it looks like it's just cracked. It doesn't look like it's completely smashed. So if, if they want to drive it away, we'll, uh, we'll let them drive it away. Here's your accident report. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. I'm sure it will. You're good to go. All clear. You're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. If you want to leave your car here, you can do that. And I will tow it away for you. Yeah, he's going to. We will um, request a tow for this one. Start the process of getting rid of that. I have that. a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Tow truck will be at your location shortly. Please take your accident report. Such a comprehensive report will be very useful. Thank you, officer. Of course. I'm going to let we you go. We're finished here. You're free to go. Have a nice day and take care. Okay. The tow truck's coming from that direction, so that's good. Wait for him to clear, and then we will grab the other car. Here's okay. your accident report. Here's your accident report. Oh, wow. Such an extensive report. Yeah, well, I do be extensive. Please stay calm so we can go to the patrol car. Come into my damaged patrol car that we're gonna fix up once we get back to a station. Please get in the car. Wait, was that our tow truck? No. It was somebody with underglow though. The reflection, I think, looks so good from the police car. Partly the game and partly the ELS mod that I installed. Which is in my last video. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need to wreck her at my current location. And we'll search this one because we took her into custody so we can search this one. Switchblade. Can't have that. Bus ticket. Some snacks. Maybe we'll steal the snacks. And we'll need one more tow. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. Tow truck will be at your location as soon as possible. Leave the road closed until that tow and comes and comes and picks that car up. Where it is in the road. Should be coming from that direction. There they are. See the boom arm from here. He hooks up to that puppy. We will uh, go ahead and remove our barricade. All right, the barricade out of the road. We'll transport a suspect. Love this lighting package this car they did a good job they're talking about um adding some additional lighting like some some free lighting um like a best way to describe it kind of like a car editor like you would have in like a 5m menu type of thing Take a... No, we won't. We're going to act like we're taking a left into this parking lot. And really just whip a U-turn. Because that's a one-lane road. And I'm not trying to wait through a couple more traffic lights to get there. All 
All right. And beautiful part about coming to this police department is that the entrance... Oh, no, the entrance is here. Haha. Uh -huh. All right. All right, let's bring her in. Then we'll go into the garage and fix our car. We'll actually probably just do the instant fix. Um, actually, I guess I can show you guys the garage update. Let's take you to the cell. While we're here, and we're going to use the garage, we may as well show you the garage update. All the PDs are pretty much laid out the same. There is some differences right, as far as like where the cells are or how they look. Um, and then there's some differences in the main like office area for where your computer is, but for the most part, they're they're pretty pretty standard, pretty much the same layout as far as like your cells are on the left, your offices are on the right, type of stuff. Okay, let's get this car fixed, shall we? We could do the quick repair. Well, let's actually go in the garage. I'll show you the update. All right, so um, basically you have four spots in the parking lot out front, which allows you to pick your car. So I'll go through them here for you so that you can see them. We've got the UTV, obviously. The Crown Vic you've seen in the parking lot. This is the SUV style that I really just don't like. And then the charger style um, vehicle. So from here, you can also change what's in the trunk. So they have a couple options. You can do this with every vehicle. A couple options. You have your barricades. You can make it empty, which I don't know why you would do that. But you get road flares, traffic cones, and barricades. And we've lost connection to the network. So I don't know really what that means. I don't think it means anything besides like saving. Whatever. Not interested. All right. So we are going to... Keep this the way it is, and we'll leave the garage. And it didn't fix our car. Oh, wait. No, it didn't. That's weird. Maybe there is only the quick repair. Well, <laughs> we're... Okay. There we are. Oh, we're doing it again, folks. Tried to turn the lights off. We're going to go into the... Quick repair again. Okay. Get those headlights on. We'll get back out there. See what we can find. Oh my god. Whip around here. Traffic accident with injury from the looks of it. No, me first. You're going to have to turn around. I have a person who's been injured requesting an ambulance. Get an ambulance out here. And we will start investigating, figure out what the heck has happened here actually we're gonna also shut down this road because he's kind of standing in the middle uh we actually already have barricades i think but we'll grab one we'll shut down the road behind these other cars um stop it okay come on I need to place barricades down and you're in my way. I guess we're shutting the road down way back here. Oh. Grab the other one. Yeah, great. You're going to be stuck there for a while, pal. 
so I can figure out what's going on. Just because I feel like people are dumb dumbs, we'll move this one up a little bit. Now people should get the hint and they should turn around. See if he, he does it. Yep, there we go. All right. Taking care of them. Let's start with the accident. What happened here? Tell me what you saw. That vehicle crossed a straight line. It's dangerous, All right. officer. That is dangerous. Let me see your driver's see. license you and if I'm available this vehicle's insurance. Check us okay, check doc. some credentials. Ambulance on your own. We need to take a closer look. Okay, doc. I can match that. Joe Svensson. Driver's license is valid. Insurance is all set. Give me that back. Check him in the computer for warrants. No warrants. No. Please we'll check him. Peacefully while I take a sample to check if you're drunk. See if he's cocked. He's not. He's been drinking, but he's not drunk, according to the I state. I need to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any illegal substance. But are we doing a little crossfade action here? No. Nope. No drugs either. Okay. And sit tight. Be right back with you. Tell me what you saw. I was in control of my car uh -huh. the whole time. <laughs> Not from what I hear. Please show me your ID and vehicle insurance. Your hair looks dumb. Here you go, officer. Real dumb. I'm not even going to try to say that first name. Xanogang? Okay, if that's your real name. He's valid insurance right. expired. What have we got here? Or invalid, so we're gonna issue him. He didn't give us insurance, so we're gonna issue him a ticket for that. To issue you a ticket because you don't have valid insurance. My lawyer will take care. I'm sure he will. See if he's drunk. Kindly cooperate as I collect a sample to see if you're drunk. He is drunk, actually, just over the legal limit. You're going to jail, pal. Please allow me to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any drugs. Andy's high. Wow, double whammy. Perfect. Love it. You're going to jail. I arrest you for driving under the influence of alcohol. Please cooperate. Please, don't do that. I'm going to do it. We are also going to... Um, supposed to be able to stack charges now. But I just don't. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Anyway, we'll search incident to I arrest. You. Kindly cooperate with me. We'll move him to the sidewalk. Human teeth. That's concerning. Get some pictures. Just want to take some pictures. I'm gonna say that every time we go to take pictures, just so everyone's aware. In my new catchphrase. Just want to Hi. take some pictures. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. All right. Looks smashed. And we're complete. Okay, perfect. So we will get this guy out of here. I'm going to let him drive away just for traffic reasons if he Here's wants to. Report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. Good to go. Right. Please take Good your go, car. Please take your car. Get in your car. Nope. Get in your car. God damn it. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send I don't think they're going to come get location? it. Truck will arrive at your location shortly. Oh, they are going to come get it. Fantastic. We're going to search his vehicle while we're waiting. And gather any more evidence of crime. Got a pocket knife. Not illegal. Just the switchblades. No items. Do a trunk search and... No, we won't. We're too close.
pocketbook. Some marijuana. There we go. It's gonna break the game, but that's okay. Stand in the trunk. Go ahead. And a switchblade. There we go. That's the piece we were looking for. Alright, he's towing that, which will be able to open up traffic. I will remove this barricade, because this guy doesn't really know what he's doing. We will continue to block off traffic behind us, though. We'll call another tow truck for that vehicle. And once the light goes green, that taxi should move. Actually, let's place... Give him his report and Please place him in the back of the car. Such a comprehensive report will be very useful. Thank you, officer. All right. I'm taking you to the police station. I'm taking you to the police station. Watch your head. Watch your head. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need a wrecker at my current location, please. Sure, it'll be with you shortly. Ooh, I almost just got killed. I almost just got murdered. All right. Um, let's turn on our flashlight that we haven't had on the whole time. We'll just stare at the car. Wait for the tow truck to come get him. There it is. He's looking up to that. We'll remove this barricade. And we will wait. Because last time I got in my car, while the tow truck's car was very close to my car, I got flung 1,200 feet away from the scene and into another dimension. So we're not going to do that. Figure out where we're going here. Right around the corner. Hmm... We're going to do the cop thing. They never answer me. I feel like I'm just talking to myself when I read them their rights like that. Could at least answer. I'm doing you a service. Yes, I understand. No, I don't. I'm taking you to our precinct cell now. Or you can just not talk throughout this entire experience and make it super uncomfortable for everybody. Take your pick. Stay here. Stay here. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. Uh, we're going to end that here. It was a good shift. We got a lot accomplished. We did a couple accidents. Actually, I think we only did accidents. We did accidents and one traffic stop. Other than that, not much happened. Uh, we didn't have to turn on call outs at all. And um, we just rolled with the punches. So that is going to do it. I don't know why that guy's running over here, but it's okay. That's going to do it for this one. Uh, we will see you in the next one. See ya.